come into my channel learn tech philo now today i want to train you on how you can create a simple to-do list using javascript html and css so first of all you will create a folder you will create a folder then you can have your html and your css css files then after that you'll need now to go to your test editor whereby on my side i'm using official studio code then you can just link them using this this is how you link them now okay now we have now to do several things like we'll start with html we'll follow with the css and then finally we'll do with javascript now the html is just used for general structure how the the to-do list issue is it appears and now the style the the css is used for styling now to uh, make the colors to any other style that you want and then to make it function now you'll need to add some javascript and then this is how now you at the end how you love your you know your to-do list now to-do list is just a simple project that you can do you can practice on when you are learning javascript it's just used for when you want now to create or you just need to like you can plan you can organize your work you can organize your essential and it enables and also increases the productivity like you can have a plan of whatever you're going to do and the, the important things can be up there and then the least important then they can be at the bottom part let's re refresh and see so like for instance you love something of this sort languages i'm going to learn at this I'm, I'm going to learn this week so i handed some languages here javascript you can see i have to java here then you laugh now you can cancel or you can just cancel any activity or any language that you like you can just add activities so here you can cancel your activity that you don't want to you don't want or their list is border or they have expired or they are like you've done them you've already done them so you can close them eh? all right that way then when you want to add a new element now then you can just click there and click on add you can click there and then let's say you want to add something there then you can click there and add if you want to close you can just close so this generally this is enabled by javascript so this is a job symbol simple javascript project that you can do now just watch every part of this tutorial and you'll be you'll be able to understand and create for your own a to-do list good now let's get back to our <coughs> to, to our now our test, test editor now whereby you'll start with javascript or, or with html sorry so for html we love now to create now hand f class and f class then you can call it header so you can call it header all right now at this point then you laugh now in between your header now you can have your your adding there at that point and you can say languages i'm going to learn this year right now you can add some test there as you wish and the whole what's your to-do list is all about then next you laugh now to create an input type input type input type whereby you need now to create now which is a test which is a test good now let's come back here and see so this one is what you're creating now this one now is what you're creating so we love this one this is a the input type which is a test symbol test then we'll need now to create now um we love now this is 
a placeholder you can have a placeholder at this point you can have a placeholder at this point and you can name it as title all right now or you can just name it a language or something like that so then you can just close there now you see now this is now what you are calling a place order this one here this is what you're calling a place order all right now after that you need now to create now a span a span now then you can call it span class then let's call it now add btn or button all right now at that point we can just and then you can say had right so you're adding now here you see now so this one this button over here is what you have created there and then we have it as add all right now after that after that we need to create a ul you have so now we want to insert some 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 items there and then at this point we love now this is what this is no now first of all you love what python you can have python right you can have python and then you can just copy this you can just copy this let's copy this and then we paste this several you can have let's say five five languages there then you can have what javascript you can have the other one here you can change to kotlin kotlin then you can also have something here which is java and then finally here you can have let's say c plus plus language so let's go back or, or let's go back to our now our html our or our browser and see now how it appears good now this is how now our our project as is appearing so we love languages i'm learning here this year then you laugh now this is hard and then the 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 various the various links we've had in there or items that you want now to show an example now let's refresh this you see now we wanted to style it to be this way now we have covered the this is now the the html part now we want to go to our to our css part css part and then we we'll start now working whereby we love now this is what okay border box you can just sell it and it says border box <clears throat> so this is to include um a padding and the border in all the elements total with elements total width and height okay good it include the padding and the border in a in an element total width and the height right now the next part we want now to remove the margin and the padding from the list now the list now you have created there which is ul now we want now to remove the margin whereby we'll set the margin to zero sorry this is zero and then we'll set the padding we'll set now the padding to zero also so we have removed the margin then we we'll laugh now to style the list item we we'll laugh now to style the list item whereby we love this is link and then we we'll, we we'll laugh now to create now the cursor when you place the cursor there the cursor is pointer the cursor is pointer now and then we we'll laugh now to position Position is relative. 
you can now also set the padding you can set the padding you can set the padding to 12 pixels 12 pixels 8 pixel, 12 pixel, um, okay, sorry, this 12 pixel, and 40 pixel, all right. Now, we can also set the background. Now, we're setting the background to, to that color, which is some white smoke, or then we'll also have a fourth size. The fourth size of the 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 now the link or that we can set it to 18 pixel and then we can have a transition a transition is now when you to enable it to have some transition when you place your mouse over there then that is so let's come back here and then you'll have now the background the background of this now you see that is changed to is changed now to this color which is some white smoke and then we'll uh, we'll have now this is the languages over here then we need now to style the next part we we'll need to make the item unselectable like you cannot select like to make the list items unselectable okay to make that you'll need now to add what you call webkit 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 user and then this is what webkit user then this is select select and then we we'll love this is none we set to none good so this one is now This now is added in between the ear. It's added in between there. Then we have now the mouse. Mouse user. User select. And then it's also to set to none. We have now also to set the MS MS user. MS user. And then select will also be set to then user select the user select is also set to now right now that one is will enable now when you when you have here in your now your 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 list you cannot select to make them unselectable now then the next part is to set all odd list to different colors okay let's say for instance you have foot this is your now then this is n and then love what child okay this this is child and then you can set it to hard so it will be skipping it will be skipping only one one item it will be skipping only one item and then it goes to the other and then you can set the background the background now the background now you can set it to something like f9 f9 and then f9 right see now let's come back here and refresh you see now the the now we can have now this is now what you're meaning the hold now the hold here is the hold number like it start with one three five so it skips one number all right now the hold number here we have set now the hold so it will be skipping only one item and then it goes to the next one so to have started the python you see that now they have different colors 
as you can see here they have different colors and that's what you're making now now the next part we want to style now the the now when you place a mouse over the links now it changes the background or when you you place a mouse over here over your links now it changes the background to something else you can copy this and then you come here then you can say offer now the hovering here now it changes the background it changes the background now to 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 this color okay now when you place mouse over right let's click and refresh you see now when you you click mouse here then it changes the color it becomes more dark it becomes more dark than the, the this color so you see now when you place a mouse over there it changes the color to be more dark now the next part we want to discuss when you clicked on and had a like when you click on the um, when you click on these items over here when you click on these items over here it changes the background it changes the background like here when you click you see it changes the colors all right and it is selected you see that it is selected and then it is also it has a strike through a color like this now it has a strike through there and it is also selected all right now we want to have this checked and also using now the css over here we'll just need now to play whereby we need now this is then checked checked which is checked or which is now clicked the checked one All right sorry this is the checked one we we'll love now when you, you click now this is what the content you see now the content okay now we can say the position the position should be okay not sorry sorry before we write on this we can have the background we can have the background which is changed to the background is changed to this color which is somehow dark it's more darker than the others and then we we'll have the color of the links the color of the links there we we'll have will be changed to white will be changed to white then we we'll have now the test decoration test decoration test decoration you can have line through you can have line through right now let's come back let's come back here and then okay we need now to have we need to have now one of the elements here which is which should be checked or or should be selected we can have either this javascript here and then we can say the class is checked right the class is checked right now come back here and the good now the next part we need now we have said that this is now we love our line through the color the background color we change to this and also the test color all right now we want to say now after or now the when you this is now sorry this one should not be now we want now after now after you now 
after you place or if you place a mouse or you click on them when you click on them now hereby is where you will use now the before the before is just used like when you are you want to write something after beef like when you click a mouse what should it appear before the characters or now we want to style whereby we laugh now the content now when it is clicked now it's here it will add a checked mark when it's clicked then you laugh now this content is now the content here is now and then we'll also have to write the position the position which will be the absolute the cop the position will be absolute and then next we'll have the border color the border color the border color here will be white will be white to we'll change the border color to white and then we'll also have border style we can have border style we can have border style which is solid and then we can have border width border width which will be set to zero two pixel two pixel and then zero all right now then we'll have top the top will be 10 pixel all right and then we'll have left left will be 16 pixel right and then we'll also have to the transform transform then it will be rotate 45 now here is adding the checked mark then we'll also have now Then we'll also have here the height. The height which is 15 pixel, the height of that tick. Then we'll have the width which is set to 7 pixel. Now, here we are adding an element, we are adding a tick or just before the content. That you're writing the the before the link now you've said that the link will have a length through and then we'll also have now before now before the element or before the link we'll have a tick over there let's see how it appears you see here we'll have a tick here and then this one here as a strike through let's come back here to a browser and then click and refresh you see now then this one is checked all right this one is checked you laugh now the tick and then you see a line through between this this element all right now let's come back then you see now we've added the when the checked element and then we want to go next and then, then style the close button we have now a close button see now here in our in this one we we'll have a close button at this side. We we'll have a close button. Like when you want to close, we'll use it to close. All right. Now, to do that, we'll just need to come here and then we'll have now the close. The close. And then we'll have the position. The position will be set to absolute and then left right will be set to zero and then top will be set to zero and then we'll also have the padding padding will be set to two pixels 16 pixels Two pixel and then love also 16 pixel right now so 
Axina, the the close button should be added over here or it should be here at the end of this part then but for that we'll add using what we will add the the close button at the end using javascript right it will be added automatically using javascript at this point now we just need now to change the background when you place a mouse over your close button now when you place your over the over here then we laugh now the background which will change to this is now okay we'll change to red or you can just set it to red okay and then we'll also have the color the color of now that icon will be white all right now after that okay okay we need to style the header the header now the header now this one the header now this one with this color now we just need to come back and style our header our header to style our header now we'll start with the header and then we will have now the background the background which will be set to to that color and then we we'll also have the padding which will be set to that pixel and 40 pixels. We'll also have the color, the color of height and so far there. We'll also have the color, which will be set to white. That is the heading and all that. And then we'll have also have the test align, test align, which will be at the center. Good. Now let's come back here and send C. C. That the background color have changed and then we'll also have all the items arranged at the center and then this one will be changed to will change to now the white and all that then we've changed the color and we've changed also the padding and all that now we want, we want to go next part and then we want to style now want to style now the header header after now after the header now we want now that content to be the content the content okay will be now and then we'll also have display which will be table okay this is what we have found um, okay we have a semicolon there then clear we love both All right now the content now after the after is used now to style the element or the element after now the header we have now this is our header now now this content here the links and all that the elements that we had it that there should be our display of a table all right now after the header now this one will have a display of our header and uh, of a table they will have display of a table and then so that's what we mean now the other one is a input it's now the is the input now the input is this one this input now you see now we want to style the input now so to do to style the input we just need to come here and then say that input and then we'll also have the margin the margin will which will be set to zero and then we'll also have the border 
we'll also have the border which is none we'll also have the border radius we'll set the border radius shaping the the hinges of of that input then we'll also set to zero and then we'll also have the print actually you can style in the you can change this one to something like 80 pixel and then we'll also have the wind here the wind will be set to 75 percent you can set the wind to 75 percent and then we'll also have the padding the padding here we can set it to 10 pixel and then we'll also have the float we'll also have the float here will be float at the left and then we'll also have the fold size the fold size will increase the fold size to 18 pixel good now you see now when you come back here and you click here the refresh you see now the the now this is how you you now your your input it appears you see it's it has squeezed or it is float we have set the float to the left you see now it has come to this side to the left it has increased the fold size here of whatever we are adding here and then you see now that's you see the background also the wind has increased to 75 percent and all that so let's come back here and then we need now to style now the add button the hard button you see now we we have this our our button here and we want to style it here this one now we want to style our button now to style our hard button you just need to have our bit here that's our button and then we'll set it to padding we'll set it to padding and then we'll have 10 pixel and then We'll also have the wind, which will be set to 25%. Now to be complete, it should be 100%, so you can set it to 25%. And then we'll also have the background, the background, the background we can change it to. Actually, you can change the background to, to A to here. To be all right now we love then we love the color of the test the color of the test here will be white we can change to white then you can also have the float to, to float to the left all right then we we'll also have the test align test align which will be at the center and then you can also have the fold size fold size and then you can set it also to 18 pixel you can also have the cursor when you bring a cursor over there you can have it at pointer and then also you can have a transition you can set the transition to 0 0.3 to have transition to 0 0.3 and then you'll we'll also have the border radius the border radius which will be set to 8 pixel good now one now when you bring a mouse over there now you see now this is now it appears you see now this is now how our hard button appears now we want now when you bring a mouse over the add button now it changes the color to change the background and all that so you just need to come here and then you paste there and then this is over when you bring mouse over it and then the background changes to the background color changes to can have this is what you can change it to something like Good. Now, when you, you bring your, your mouse here, you see now it is 
change as a background it changes the background now see now now we are working on uh, on CSS part now we need to go next and then we we'll have also this is now the head or the head of our now our CSS part you see now you we'll laugh we, we have something we have something that looks the same similar they have something that looks almost the same now we have now added the HTML the HTML is now for structure as we discussed before just for the structure and the CSS is just for styling to have the colors to have the piling the margins and the, all that now we want now to add JavaScript like when you click here you see now you cannot add an element you cannot add an element of it to your list you cannot remove an element because you have not added a close button over here you see now we want to add all the function all those function you see now like in this one here you can add an element now that is javascript you can add you can remove an element from the list you see now that's all about what that's so all javascript now to add javascript you just need to come here and then go back to your html file and then first of all you need now here to add an id you need now to add an id here for the header and then we can say that this is id id which will help us now This is my dive. All right, my dive. Okay, can just use a capital letter there. Then we'll also need to add an ID here at the at the input. We'll also need to add an ID here. Now these IDs will just need, will use them when you. When you're writing your JavaScript, now here after the test here you can just you can add an ID there and then we can say my my input. All right. So then the next part the we can also have an on click when you click on add button here when you click. On when you click on this add a button now on click we can say that this is what we can say that this is a new element this is a new element All right then this is a function you can add a function there on click when you click on this add button you had new element right now the other part you just need to add your id is here and this you have your head here you just need an id like you can remove you can then the at this point now you need to know this is my my head. right then you can just use a capital letter to differentiate it from this one then We need now to write our JavaScript and then to write our JavaScript part, we can say you can add a comment here, you can add a comment here, and then add JavaScript, add JavaScript, and then add JavaScript, and then at this point, you can write, you write your JavaScript in between a script tag, you write it. In between the script tag so at that point now first of all we just need to write to create a close button we have said that at this point you can see at this one you have a close button here and then at this point we do not have a close button yet we wrote it in our CSS we wrote it in our CSS here at this point we styled it right we already styled it right here so we just need now 
to add a close button using JavaScript. Now to add a close button, we need to now we need to now to write file which is a variable then you can say that my node list then you can give it a value which is or, or you can just say plus no this is what document dot get element by id by tank name by tank name and then we'll also have at that point love this is what hell high all right now this one now we will attach it to each of these each item in the list all right we'll attach it there then after that we'll say now this is file and then we'll have i which is, we can give it a value which is i then we can say using for for loop here we'll use some loops here then we can say that this is i we can give it a value which is zero then we can say that when i is, a, is less than my no, <coughs> now my not list now the not list that you have created here which is a variable we have created a variable there then the length the length you can set the length and then you just need to have an increment to include an increment over there we can include an increment over there and then love now to write a variable span we can have a span there and then give it a value which is document we can create now we are creating we are create create element and then we can give it Span right now. I can give it create span right now. After that, this is create span. Then we we'll love now. This is far. Sorry, this should be in a copy small letter for test we can give it which is a value which is document test and out and then we can say that this is what This is now the new lab zero zero then seventy. So that's the file for or the the code that is used for insert is now the the close button. Then you can see at that point and then see that span class name class name equals to or is it's equivalent to now the class name is class 
now the class name is class and then you can say that the span you can say append you can append it now child to each you can append to each now to each item in the list see now then we'll, finally we'll write now the my not list my not list my not list which is i i've given up this high append append now append child to each you append span right to each now you see now after that you can just come back here and there click here and there. click and refresh now now we want now when you click or you need now to add when you click on the close button then it hides you see now in this part here when you click here it hides the item that you have clicked when you click on the close button over here now let's write a prong or a um, javascript whereby when you click on the close button now it hides the current list item now you said that you click on the button or the close button to hide the current list item now we love now the the furry whereby we'll give it a value which is close now we need now to say that display should be now right now on click the function then you say that it is now now like here we see now when you click here then it disappears right that's all what it means now the next part we need now to add some javascript whereby when you add a checked or add a checked symbol when you clicking on list item all right now on here you see now when you add or you just need when you click here it add now a checked you see now when you click here you had as checked and the check to have a stack through here and some element here before right a tick something of a tick when you click on it you see it had when you click it disappears when you click it has when you click it disappears now to do that you just need to add some javascript here and then this is how it will appear good to add a checked symbol only clicking on a list item now you see now this is ul ul now the the ul there now then you see now when you click on the function then the toggle goes to checked all right the checked and the checked we say that we style the checked and say that it will have a strike through it will have so this so we style the checked and we say the background color the changes and all that so it will be the same and then it will be added using javascript let's come back here and see you refresh so you see when you click here then okay sorry for that so this is what like here when you click here see it adds all right now the next part we just needs to or we need now to add some javascript you add some javascript whereby to create a new list when clicking on add now you see now here on this part now when you click or when you have here you need to add a new element here and then you click add it is added to the list here all right now to do that just need to come back here to your and add some javascript just below here so you love to add this and then 
this is now when you click on the hard button whereby you love this is a link now then the far link when you click my now the the now the my input now the my input which we had it here the id now before the place or inside the input type now now that's where you insert all right now when you have the, or the value is none or you have not inserted any value it should give an alert or a warning or it says the page says that you must write something let's say for instance here let's come back to our what you've created here you see now when you click on hard the page says you must write something all right now now when you write something now and the value then the my input and the value now it creates or it creates now the it automatically creates a value or it adds a value to my to the to the my ul my ul is an id that you created in the ul the link it will be the child or the child will be a link or just an item list right now and then and automatically the input type that is inserted over there it inside the close button let's say for instance here this is not what we are creating now let's say for instance you had a all right see now the close button is added automatically and all that all right the close button is added here the close button is added so you can you can have as many as many as you wish you can create you can add that and then the close button is created automatically so you need to create a close button over there using the same same and then you say that when on click when you click on the close button now then the display is none like for instance here when you come here and click here then the item the item disappears right the item disappears okay now we have created a symbol a very symbol to-do list using javascript html and some parts and the css now this is just a symbol as i said before this is just a very symbol javascript project that you should work on and then we laugh now to do to end at that point and then remember to subscribe like and share with your friends thank you guys for watching we'll be back in the next tutorial or the next project we'll be doing thank you finally you have yours your now to-do list and it looks the same with this one it looks the same when you click here see now this you can now add your item there you can add your item you can remove using the plus button and do that